Welcome to All About Mars Surface, where every ridge is real, every rock tells a story, and every discovery brings us closer to understanding the red planet. Today we'll talk about the latest and most astonishing discoveries on Mars, especially the rocks and minerals that may hold signs of life, and also what it could mean if a massive underground water reservoir, the so-called J-Water, is found on Mars. So get ready, because today we're diving deep into the Martian depths, into its rocks, potential water reservoirs, and the quest for life. Before we dive into these mind-blowing Martian discoveries, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Because here on All About Mars Surface, every ridge has a reason, and every silence hides a story. So join us, and let's explore the real Mars together, one rock at a time. Mars Perseverance rover on Sol 4221. Let's first briefly recall what Mars is and why we need to study it. Mars is one of our solar system's planets that might once have been warmer, wetter, and more geologically active. According to our research, Mars' surface has many valleys, river-like channels, and lake beds. Its atmosphere might once have been dense and rich in CO2, but later thinned over time. That's why Mars is a prime target in the search for life. Because the rocks and minerals we're finding there could be evidence of past or present subsurface water activity. Now, let's move forward to the new discoveries, especially those rocks that have brought major changes to our understanding. The Perseverance rover has collected samples inside Jezero Crater and along the Neretva Vallis region, revealing special minerals and structural characteristics. For example, one sample, called Sapphire Canyon, taken from a rock nicknamed Chayava Falls, shows clear signs of ancient clay and water activity. The Curiosity rover has also discovered rocks containing long-chain alkanes, which are significant indicators of possible biological activity. Additionally, carbonate minerals, such as siderite, FeCO3, have been found, suggesting that Mars once had a CO2-rich atmosphere that later got trapped within the rocks. Rocks act like time capsules. When they form, they trap clues about their environment, water activity, temperature, and chemical reactions of that era. For instance, if a rock shows mineral patterns similar to those formed by microbial activity on Earth, it could point toward ancient life on Mars. Examples include minerals like vivianite or gregite, which on Earth often form through microbial processes. The discovery of long-chain alkanes means carbon-based organic compounds can survive within Martian rocks for billions of years. The presence of carbonates tells us about the ancient Martian atmosphere and hydrological changes over time. Samples from Sapphire Canyon reveal clay textures, signs of water flow, and minerals possibly linked to microbial activity. Researchers say this could be the most promising evidence yet in the search for ancient Martian life. Though it's still not confirmed, more analysis is needed. Dot, dot, dot. Moreover, possible subsurface ice and groundwater reservoirs have also been detected beneath Mars' surface, which are crucial for understanding rock alteration and water activity. Now we move to the key question. If Mars truly has J water, subsurface groundwater, or a large aquifer, what would that mean? And how would it affect rocks and the search for life? Why finding water matters? Water is the essential ingredient for life. And if Mars once had or still has it, one of the main conditions for life is fulfilled. A subsurface water reservoir could mean that Mars wasn't just wet in the past, but may still harbor some form of biological potential today. The presence of water also causes rock transformations, bending, mineral alteration, 
and the creation or preservation of organic matter. Effects on the search for life. The presence of water greatly increases the chance of current biological activity. Subsurface water could serve as a shelter for microbes, protected from harsh surface radiation and extreme conditions. Rocks influenced by water activity have a higher chance of containing fossils or biological signatures, such as microbial metabolic reactions, organic matter, and specific minerals linked to biological processes. Consequently, when samples are eventually returned to Earth, for instance through the Mars Sample Return Program, we'll be able to explore the question of Martian life from a completely new perspective. Finding water would also be crucial for future human habitability on Mars. Subsurface water could be used for drinking, generating oxygen, and supporting habitats. Furthermore, the presence of groundwater or buried ice could alter rocks internally, changing our view of Martian geology. Dot. Mars might not be as geologically dead as we once thought. Now let's turn briefly to the idea of fossils, the remnants of past lice, especially in light of the rocks and water presence. What are fossils? Fossils are traces or remains of ancient life preserved in rocks or soil through microbial metabolism or biological activity. On Earth, we find microbial fossils, stony membranes, and mineralized filamentous textures that record the history of ancient life. So next, Possibility of fossils on Mars. As we've seen, Mars contains rocks with organic compounds, specific minerals, and signs of water activity, all crucial for fossil research. For example, the rock containing long chain alkanes could be seen as a possible remnant of microbial life. Also, the rock nicknamed Sheava Falls shows possible mineral indicators of microbial activity. So what do you think? Could these rocks be hiding the secrets of ancient Martian life? If today's discoveries made you curious about what lies beneath the red dust of Mars, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to All About Mars Surface. Hit that bell icon, because in the next episode, we'll dive even deeper, exploring how future human missions might unlock the water beneath and reveal if Mars is still alive today. Until then, keep looking up, because every rock, every ridge, and every whisper of wind on Mars has a story to tell. Thanks for watching All About Mars Surface. Thank you for watching till the end. You were watching All About Mars Surface. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it with your friends,